Hi, this is Ridge Hooks, Executive Director for Softball Players Association. First of all, I want to tell you how important the 2011 season was and how much we appreciate your support. We're looking forward to 2012, more tournaments, better ways to communicate uh, to headquarters and also to the managers. One of the things that we've been listening to was the manager's request to have players and rosters put together online. Finally, we've been able to do that, and I think you'll see a great program, a better way to manage your roster, but also to send it and communicate it to us and to our tournaments. We want to say thank you once again for playing SPA, and at this time, Bobby Graham is going to show you how the program works. Thanks again. Hello. Welcome to SoftballSPA.com. Effective immediately, all SPA team rosters must be entered online prior to any SPA tournament play. The team manager or his authorized representative must log in to an SPA online roster system to enter or update that team's roster. Uh, any players that are going to be playing on that team will then sign in at the tournament prior to the participation in a tournament. In order to access the SPA uh, roster management system, simply go to our home page such as the one you see on the screen right now, come down to where it says click here for online roster management or in the menus on the left there will be an item that will say roster management. Now you can't see that on this demonstration but it should be there when you log in when you go to our website you should be able to see it. For now we'll just click on click here for online roster management and the system will take us to this screen. This is the place where the team manager or representative must log in to access their roster. In order to log in, the manager must list their last name. I'll put my last name there. Now that name has to be exactly as it's shown on the team registration card. Uh, that's not the player card, that's the team registration card. If the last name, for example, were Graham Jr., I would have to put the space JR on here, or if it was Junior period, all of the punctuation, everything with that last name must be there exactly the same way as it is on the team registration card. Then we put the team registration number in. This is a men's team from Oklahoma. Its registration number is 954, and it was registered in 2012. Those three things together would be exactly the same as they're shown on the player's card. From this point we can just hit enter or click enter and it takes us to a screen that tells us about this team. The team's name is Team Test in this case. There's the registration number. This is a 60 plus team. It's classified AAA and I'm shown as the manager. This team has not yet played so their roster is not qualified or frozen so there's no date shown here. In order to add players to the roster as you can see if there were players on the roster they would be listed on this screen but since there are, are no players listed we've not yet put any roster in so we can simply add a new player to the roster and it brings us to a screen that asks for the players information. If I told it that this player We'll just put a player in here. We have to put his last name exactly as it's shown on his player card. The last name must be exactly the same as it's shown on the player's registration card. Then we put in the player's number, which in this case would be 05-2149-OK-7416. Now that number must be exactly the same as it shows on the player's registration card including the dashes etc. It has to be put in exactly the same way. Then we hit enter and it tells us about this player. Now this happens to be Wiley Coyote. He's from Acme Town, Oklahoma and he's a 60 year old player. His card expires in December and this is his picture. So it tells us about the player so we can make sure that we're adding the correct player to our roster. If this is not the right player, I can just click cancel and it'll return to the previous screen. 
but I want to add him to my roster so I just confirm the addition. And now we can see Wiley Coyote is listed on our roster. Let's add another player. This player would be named Duck. His card number is 040150-OK-7415. Again, this registration number is just exactly as it's shown on the player's card. I'm not worried at this point about upper and lower case on the characters, but the numbers and letters must be correct along with the dashes. Shows this is Ralph Duck. It gives me all of the information, shows me his picture, and asks me if I want to confirm this player. So I'll confirm him and add him to the roster. We'll just continue this process, adding players to this roster. We'll add one that you, you might recognize here. And we'll put him in. Again, we just hit enter. We'll click enter. Ah, he didn't go. I've got the registration number is incorrect. So if I change it and correct it and hit enter, you can see that it goes on in. If you get anything wrong in the registration number or the name, nothing happens as you just saw. It just kind of looks at you and waits for you to make a correction. In this case, I'm adding ridge hooks. I'll confirm that player addition. Now, at any point, I can come into my roster and I can make changes. For instance, if I wanted to drop Ralph Duck from my roster, I could just click Drop. It'll ask me if I'm certain I want to do this, and I can say OK, and now he's gone. He's been removed from the roster. So this is the way that we would go about adding players and dropping players to or from the roster. This roster is not yet qualified and frozen so we can pretty much uh, add and drop as we like. Uh, but suppose we tried to add a player that wasn't quite old enough to be on this team. If I uh, try to add a player named Guy and I put in his card number and I hit enter. It shows me his picture, it tells me about this guy and says is this who I want to add. If I try to confirm him you'll notice at the bottom of the screen it pops up in red. Sometimes you have to scroll down to see the red but it'll pop up and tell me that this player is too young for this team and he can't be added so he's not eligible to play with this team. Since he's not eligible I'll just cancel and not add him to my roster and it takes me right back where I was. The system makes a number of checks for player eligibility. Uh, a player's card must be current. If his card is expired, the system will not allow him to be added to a roster until his card has been renewed. Uh, cards can be renewed online, so that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, there are some things that it does not check. For example, a player can be on more than one roster because players are allowed to play in more than one age group. Consequently, this system does not relieve the manager from any responsibilities. It's still the manager's sole responsibility to make sure that all of the players listed on his roster are legal and eligible. The program will make some checks, but it will not make all checks. So be aware, the manager remains responsible. Now, once we've added the players to our roster, uh, at any time, you can go look at your roster or anybody else's roster simply by going back to the, to the uh, home page and going to Team Ratings. When you go to Team Ratings, it'll give you a screen that looks like the one you see here. You can scroll down. We'll go down to the 60-year-olds. They're listed here by age, so we'll go down to the 60-year-olds and we'll find Team Test down here. There's Team Tests and if we click on Roster it will give us 
over on the right hand side of the page there we go a roster that lists the players that are here so for team test right now we've got Wiley Coyote and Ridge Hooks on there that's the only two we have on this roster for this demonstration but as you can see you can add players uh, you can manage your roster but you can go look at your roster or anyone else's roster by going to the ratings page that's about all I have if you're looking to add or work with your roster this is the place to do it uh, keep in mind the manager is still responsible give us a call if you have any problems and let us know when you get to the tournament this must have already been put into the system before you got there and there will be a printout at the tournament that the tournament director will have that will allow you each player will sign in at every tournament thanks a lot give us a call if you need help our phone number is 405-376-7034 thank you